In this example, we're interested in what the one-year interest rate will be starting in one year. So on our timeline, what that's going to look like is what is what do we expect the interest rate to be during this period? That is, the one-year interest rate starting in one year. Using our uh, forward rate notation, this will be F11. So the interest rate that we expect starting in one period that continues for one year or one period. So in this example, we're given that the one year bullet bond interest rate has an interest rate of three and a half percent. So Standing here today, we can invest in a one-year bond, one-year bullet bond that has an interest rate of 3.5%. Our alternative investment strategy is to invest in a bullet bond that has a two-year maturity and a 4% interest rate per year. So if we invested in that alternative strategy, we would earn 4% each year. Now under expectations theory, because both of these investment strategies have the same risk and we can structure them such that they have the same payoff, then the total return on the two strategies has to be the same, otherwise an arbitrage opportunity exists. So under that series of assumptions, we can figure out what the forward rate will be um, starting in one year, and that will be the rate that continues for one year. So the way we actually solve this is we set the two total rates of return the same. So under this first strategy, we would invest in a one-year bond. After that one year has elapsed, we would have earned 3.5%. We take the proceeds from that investment and roll that into another one-year bond. We don't know what that rate is. That's what we're solving for. That's what we expect that rate to be. And under expectations theory, the total return on these two investment strategies has to be the same. So if we bought the one-year bond, or sorry, the two-year bullet bond and earned 4% each year, our total return would be 4% compounded over two years. So after this point, it's just a little bit of algebra to figure out what the F11 will be, what we expect interest rates for a one-year bond to be that starts in one year. And it turns out that Standing here today, we expect the interest rate over this time period to be equal to 4.5%.